I'm sorry for worrying all of you. I won't be able to respond for a little while longer. You don't need... You, you don't need to mind us. More importantly, are you doing all right? I'm okay. I'm more worried about the people at the company, to be honest. Excuse me. It seems everyone's having difficulty with not only clients, but also uh, but the press as well. They're even handling the preparations for my father's funeral. I just feel that I'm unable to help out at all. You shouldn't. Everyone understands that this is a trying time for you. And we're here if anything happens. I know. I'll get in, ch uh, get in touch once things settle down. We'll be waiting. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bless that girl. Worrying about others even at a time like this. Uh, that That's a good heart there. I bet they killed a cougar to make an example out of it. Why else would they kill him during a press conference? I read somewhere that a cougar raised his daughter alone. Maybe he wasn't a great manager, but as a parent, I feel for him. Murdering someone to make a point is textbook terrorism. Like Shido in a catchy kid's say, Fandom, these are menace. <sighs> oh, that's not good. Definitely not good. Have we been cheering the murderers this whole time? It has to be a setup. The Fandom, these aren't like that. They're... They have to endure harsh training every day. I feel a bit sorry for them. I believe in the Phantom Thieves. They wouldn't do that. Oh, that gymnast girl? Yeah, she changed in a good way. All right, let's see what's going on. Who on earth set us up? Does anyone have any ideas? Of course not. If I were to guess, I would say the culprit behind the mental shutdowns. Wait, how do we even know we got set up to begin with? They found a calling card in Principal Kobayakawa's office. Someone else had, uh, had to plant that, obviously. In worst case scenario, it's possible they know our identities. This is bad, guys. Yes, our state of affairs is looking quite bleak. We have to prove our innocence. How are we going to do that, though? It looks like our only choice now is to find the true culprit. Although we don't have any leads. Man, why has this got to happen to us? <sighs> I wish we could prove our innocence, but we can't afford to make a dumb mistake and get ourselves caught. We'll just have to keep laying low and wait. Let's not do anything do anything conspicuous, okay? Hey, sorry for bringing this up when things are so chaotic. I know it's going to be tough after what happened to President Akuma and all, but this is a perfect time for smaller changes of heart to restore your reputation. Anyway, here's the info I have. If true, this one's pretty crazy. Apparently, an ex-mercenary who works as an assassin is hiding out in Shibuya Underground. He acts like a homeless person during the day, but then he goes about his work at night. He hasn't left any traces to his of his identity, though, so there's nothing the police can do. Yeah, that sounds pretty dangerous. Right? I can't breathe knowing he's out there. According to the rumors, his name is Yohei Kiritani. I think is how that's pronounced. I'm seriously scared. I don't want anything to do with this. I'm leaving this to you, the Phantom. This... Mm. Mishima really does some amazing info. It, it really does get some amazing info for us sometimes. Our reputation may have taken a bit of a hit after Akumura's death, but we can still prove our justice in mementos. We should discuss this when with everyone we have the time. Oh, and we have to meet up with Haru before we can go in. Yeah, so... The exams are closed. Have your studies been going well? I have a general idea what they're like since I was the second year. What do you do? Uh, study together? Oh. That would have been nice if I didn't have max knowledge, but hey. 
Do you remember the name man named Kawabane? He is that gentleman who offered me he offered to assist me when we went to visit Madarame's residence. I actually have been contacted by him again. It seems he wishes to discuss it in more detail. However, I'm somewhat hesitant to do this alone. Do you have any plans, Rin? Could you accompany me? Alright, hold on. Yusuke. Yeah, I don't think... From what he's... Oh, and we have to meet up with Hari before we can go in. I think that means we can't do anything as far as... Uh, going into mementos yet. If I'm thinking about that correctly. What is this? People are saying that Akechi was right about us all along. Come on, we need to prove our innocence. Alright, well... Okay... Let's do it. I'm relieved to hear that. Uh, this invitation of his was to a particular expensive sushi restaurant. I've already told him I will have a friend with me. Let us partake in this meal together. I can address, send you the address. We shall meet there. Come, I've ordered your portion as well. Please, eat freely. No. Before that, there is something I would like to ask. Just, who are you? Hmm, an interesting question. My work involves gallery management, but my hobbies are diverse. The Foundation is but one of those hobbies. Broadly speaking, we're responsible for scouting and nurturing talented youth involved in the art world. We offer free scholarships, meta mediate study abroad programs, and we also connect young artists to customers. At this time, even Madarame participated in our organization. S sensei I, I mean, Madarame? Indeed. A good many benefited from his time working with us. We were aware of the dark rumors about him, but we could never have seen his confession coming. I suppose it was likely he was deceiving us that whole time. <gasps> Marame, to think I once relied on his teachings. I called him my mentor. This is all because of him. It is his fault I can no longer view paintings with a pure heart. Hmm? In the past, I sim simply the desire to paint led me to seek beauty. But now, I find myself constantly weighed down by the search for awards or praise of others. An ugly attachment has fastened itself upon my work. I can no longer paint how I used how to. This be? My art is, is tainted. I see. However, that would be a wasteful to let your talent dry up. Our foundation would gladly support you. Not only a former student of the infamous Madarame, but someone with those looks. There is definitely a market for you. We'll sell you as the track it Jack Hansen artist. What, what does that mean? <laughs> As he said, I'm wondering the same thing. Exactly as it sounds. Having your ideas stolen by Madarame, losing a place to live, hungry for food, that unstable air about you makes you for the perfect tragedy. A story like yours would even sell those who don't understand art. A story? If you don't have one in the modern climate, no one will even mention your name. 
Don't worry, we'll handle the details, but in return, you must sell your artwork through my gallery. There, we will take a mediation fee, but you'll be granted a steady revenue and a nice customer base as well. Do not mock me! How foolish. Tragedy? Looks? Story? Those have nothing to do with art. In the end, this is only about money. That which paints pure beauty. How immature. Excuse me? It seems you haven't learned anything at all. You're not looking at reality objectively. Is wealth really that horrible? And beyond that, how long will you continue to chase those illusions of yours? Purity. Art. I decline. Shut your mouth. I reject your offer. Hmm. I thought you, of all people, would have the resolve to use art to make a living. I have that resolve. However, I also believe such a life would only come via proper assessment. Hmm? In that case, I have an opportunity for you. My foundation will soon be holding a competition for young artists from around the nation. The prize shall be our support. We'll bring customers from around Japan to see the next great talent. There will be a great deal of pressure on you, should you enter. Or perhaps, are you too afraid? What did you say? I wonder if you have what it takes to withstand the skill-based assessment of that magnitude. I'll look forward to finding out. Now then. It seems there no seems to be no use of any further discussion. You can have them send the bill to my office. You are unforgivable. That avaricious bastard. Why did why is it that all artists talk about is money, money, money? Has the true mean art been lost? I, I, money should not be the, the biggest thing in your life. It should never be the biggest thing in your life. But it is important because that's how you live. It, you pay for your expenses to live in the country you live in. So it, it is important. But this is the actual answer. Ren, yes. you are correct. My passion can change the world. However, I would starve to death without money. Passion alone may fill my heart, but it cannot fill my stomach. What a troublesome predicament. You have my thanks. Anyhow, I am quite glad that you chose to accompany me here. I may have bit my tongue off in anger had it only been me. In other words, you're a soothing force in my life. I don't know how I want to take that, but... Or how I should take that, but whatever, man. <laughs> Live painting allows Yusuke to use card duplication and card creation on the spot. All right. It's really nice. Okay. I, I will partake in Kanawabe's exhibition. I am going to display my ability and prove him wrong. Come, let us go home. Hmm. Actually. We should eat first. The sushi has done nothing wrong, after all. Of course. <laughs> let us return home. Uh, of course. Now then, let us be off. Let us head off. Ren, I need a pep talk. It's good that I'm sitting in front of the canvas while my emotions are hot. But the lingering taste of sushi has me utterly distracted. Not only that, I allow Kanawabe to pay for it all. I'm tainted after all. I'm a petty sellout, a slave to the power of money. It, it, it's not a crime to enjoy sushi, dude. I, I suppose that sushi was truly delicious. I didn't list the price for it didn't list the price for some reason but I can only imagine it was quite expensive 
Certainly, as sushi can be a form of art when prepared with such care in artisanal craftsmanship. If I'm being honest, I still feel my doubts about my work. I may end up embarrassing myself again, but even then, I must express myself. Your support in this world would... Uh, this uh, Your support would mean the world to me. Goodbye for now. Later, dude. And yeah, don't, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> I hear the fan he's killed someone. It's all over the news. That's not what happened. <laughs> no, don't wanna. <laughs> I have another report to make. Do you have a bit of time? Uh, let me take care of something <laughs> real quick. Let's get to the velvet room. Uh, let's see. Which one should I ditch? I mean, I could do this one because, honestly, we're not doing this at all. <laughs> well, hers. Uh, however... <laughs> all the things. All of the things. All right. Justine, registration? Are you sure? Are you a fool? Oh, no, that, no that's not. I, I was. With you. You now choose. All right, well, let's do this. Baphomet with. Um. We could do this and get Gabriel. And it wouldn't be missed one way or another, so roll anyway. Although he is the highest level persona we have. I see. A strong persona indeed. Yeah, Great let's go for it. Are possible. Do you However, given the circumstances of than your own power. Oh, I got no money. <laughs> Never mind. Power requires sacrifice. Alright, well fine. We'll do it this way. What are you waiting for? This is what it's then let us begin. I do feel bad because it's Raul, but you know, we kind of need to do a thing. We need a moon persona. Ziodine. I forgot to mix your stuff. Have your stuff go back around. I'll take that off. Concentrate. That's not a bad one. Take Miracle Punch off. Alright. You change these are the paths you have walked. Um I'm just gonna is do this, this what one. You want? Even though this one is better. But I uh, It, it doesn't cost persona. anything, and it adds it to my. Uh, it adds it to the compendium, weirdly enough. Um, and you don't pay anything for them. You want so. to register it? Are you sure? Oh, uh, let's Done go. Already. What? I want to go back. It is time, inmate. All right. Let's go. Wait. Is he not moon? Yeah, I don't know why it's saying that then. You know what? I that matter. Let's go. Oh, I'm Amaya. I've been waiting for you. I have more I want to say about how I'm helping you guys. Let's go somewhere close then. Sorry. One sec. That was from Akiyama Kun. He said he wanted to, wants me to stop by. Apparently he's close. It sounded serious. I don't think we should ignore him. Can you come with me? Yeah. 
Uh, Akiyama-kun! Mishima? Uh -huh. There's our guy. Look, Akiyama-kun says he's not going to be able to pay this month. So how about you spot him? That's what friends are for, right? Friends? Huh? You guys ain't friends? Don't try messing with us, Akiyama. Is this the loser we're supposed to be? Friend who was gonna help you? If you don't got anything to do with this little Akiyama, I suggest you get out of here. Come on, Taro. Looks like we're gonna have a nice little chat with that girlfriend of his. Police! No! I'm begging you! Sorry, but you broke a promise. Now she's got to be the one to pay us back. You, if you catch my drift. This is what you get for trying to screw us over. Hey, <laughs> you're so cruel, cool, Yudakun. Okay, I'm a coon. Cool. I, I'm Amaya. Run. But no, I'm not leaving. <laughs> uh, are you sure? I don't want to get you involved, though you have, though having you here is definitely reassuring. I think I have an idea. It's risky, but it might work. If anything happens, take care of Akiyama Kunamamaya. <gasps> oh my! Hey, you guys! <laughs> oh my gosh! I bit my tongue. Huh? You're still here? Run away! You idiot! Uh, you better lay off of Akiyama-kun. I've been taking a video of this whole conversation. Huh? If you do anything to Akiyama-kun or his girlfriend, I'll bring it straight to the police. Oh, and don't think any ideas about breaking my phone. It backs up to the cloud automatically. Uh, hey, what should we do? We'll be fine. Police ain't gonna do crap over a stupid little video. Why don't you just run along and go home, run along home to your anime girls? We don't got time to do with losers like you. <sighs> oh, come on. Gotta believe in yourself, dude. I'm Amaya. You're right. Eh? Huh? Look, I know you guys are supposed to be tough and all, but are you re are you sure it's really worth getting arrested again over something like this? I mean, this video is definitely enough to get you guys busted given your previous criminal records. Uh, how'd you know about that? It doesn't matter how, just leave Akiyama-kun alone and we'll be even. Then, if you keep your word, I'll delete the video and the backup too. You'll delete them now. No. Uh, uh, Yudakun? <sighs> I've heard enough of this. <sighs> Man, I thought my heart was gonna have. I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. My whole act would have been broken down if they didn't back off when they did. <laughs> uh, I really suck, huh? You, you were super cool. Hmm? Huh? Yeah, you think? Even if I peep my pants a little? <laughs> Maybe I don't admit that, but yeah, you were cool. <laughs> but the truth is, I've dealt with enough bullying to know guys like that probably have been arrested at least once. <laughs> oh, and thanks for sticking with me, Amalaya. We can't let injustice like that go unchecked. I think I get it now. This feeling is what made me want to help you guys to begin with. That's why I started the fan site. Are you sure you want to talk about this right next to your friend there? <laughs> Just saying. To make sure that nobody had to go through that stuff like this again. Well, I'm glad you're motivated, dude. All right. <sighs> Akiyama-kun, are you okay? It looks like they really laid it on you. Mishima. Why'd you help me? Huh? Excuse me. Jeez. 
You didn't need to get involved. S sorry. It looked like you were really in trouble, though. So I stepped up. Is that so? Anyway, can you walk? Do we need to call you an ambulance? I'm fine. Just go. Oh. All right. Come on, Amamaya. Well, see you later. I don't know why I stand. I was doing that. All right. Oh, Amamaya. Sorry, are you okay to talk right now? The panic finally kicked it. It's kicking in. Shaking so bad. I need to talk to someone. Hey, you think I'll be okay? What if those guys secretly followed me home? Oh, but but I have the model gun I got for, for self-defense. The security system's top of the line. This is so unsafe, right? You'll be fine. Where does all that confidence come from? Oh, but I, I, I do feel a little calmer now that I got to talk to you about it. Anyways, uh, I'm so exhausted. I wish I could, could crash, but I gotta do some research on these guys. Ugh. And I have them have to mod the fan site too. It's looking like an all-nighter. <laughs> Thanks for listening through all that, though. Okay, see you.